another day, another dollar, guys. Um, this is the Osos of something lovely coming to you from us. It's the goat's meat and salad soup. Yes, with a twist, a very little twist. And this is it. I'm tasting. I'm liking. <laughs> I'm sharing, guys. Let's begin. These are the list of the ingredients that we'll be needing for this beautiful, beautiful, traditional Igbo delicacy, guys. If you haven't tried it before, try this with me. For those of you who will be wondering what I'm doing with the red bell pepper, I'll tell you why at some point. It's actually optional. And here I have Oda, Oziza, and uh, Ehuru. Uh, disregard the quantity, actually. I just wanted to have enough in my plate to be able to show you what it is. I've shown you the blended bit, and this is it. So, this is the quantity I'll be using alongside my season. Thank you. This is our show, show. Yes, onions and uh, scotch bonnet. And, <laughs> yeah, my otazi and those are leaves. I've got my salt to taste guys yes now i have the goat meat in the pot guys with all sure sure all people's seasoning and my pepper soup mix more or less a little water and i want to cook for just 10 minutes in the pressure pot because the goat meat is actually very very strong guys yeah it takes a while to cook so the rest of the meat in my normal cooking pot and i'm blending the scott bonnet red bell pepper i'll add that to the meat and that's the reason i just want it not to be too dark in color i want a touch of you know um bright looking salad soup yeah yeah after the meat has cooked for 10 minutes i'm gonna add my stock fish my my um dry fish and i'm gonna also add the pre-cooked meat that's the good meat from my pressure pots and this is us making progress now i have the ogiri obenye yes without ogiri obenye i don't even know what we're doing here yes it's gonna give it that local local taste crayfish goes in guys yes the crayfish and we're gonna prep the tigna i'm using yam as tigna today guys yes yam as tigna and um we're gonna blend the yam it's already cooked with a lot of water i'm gonna blend this in my blender yes ready to go this is the time to add my smoked turkey because it's almost 80% cooked. So I only need to add this towards the end of the cooking process. Five minutes later, I pour in my tigna. Yes, the base of my salad soup is finally made. You stay well to combine, guys. Yes, you heard me. Stay well to combine. Keep liking, keep commenting. Five minutes later, <laughs> this is it. It's almost done, guys. Yes, my otazi and uh, oziza leaves. That's the only veggies I use. Yeah, they go right in, guys. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm going to stay away again to combine and cook for five, five, five minutes. I don't even need to cook for five minutes with the veggies because with the veggies, it's almost done. Yes, it's done now. No more cooking needed. I'm going to turn the heat down. And now it's my freshly made pan, pounded yam. Yeah, the remnant of the yam I used for thickening i'm gonna pound now i'm using my masher to mash this up and the result is amazing guys you won't believe it it's so amazing try this thank me later cook the yam to be really really tender yes tender 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 and then pound with your masher or mortar and pesto if you do have that i do not have that so that's why i use my masha and the result is mwah. so let's test our creation guys i'm so lucky
loving it. Yes. Do you want to join us at Coffee's Kitchen? Remember to be kind to those you meet on your way up, guys. You never know. You might meet them on your way down. Thank you for watching us this far. Let's dig in. Hmm. Oh my days. The taste of the pudding is in the eating. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks again for watching and keep